contestants for the Ultra and Defy Worldwide Tag Team Championship. What an atmosphere here in the Ultratorium for our main event. And here come the Lucha Brothers. Ray Phoenix, Penta El Cerro Miedo. Penta, a two-time Ultra champion right here in PCW Ultra. One of the greatest tag teams in all the world have been in battle in a rivalry with the Young Bucks over the AAA Tag Team titles. But they got a chance to win two sets of Tag Team titles here, partner. The Ultra Tag Team titles as well as the Defy Tag Team titles on the line. There's a feeling in this building, Todd Kennelly, that can only be described as tense. There's excitement in the air. Not only this legend tag team in the making, the Lucha Brothers, but for the champions who are about to make their way to the ring, and Todd Kennedy. Business is about to pick up, as JR might say. No doubt about it. Mood always changes when you hear that ominous music. Put a chill on your spine. War Beast, Fatu. Joseph, dominant for nearly 1,000 days. They have held the gold. They have taken out, they've not only defeated, but destroyed anyone who stepped in their path. It's a scary tag team. These are guys who are wearing the two most important tag team championships on the West Coast. The Vi Tag Team Championship, as you see on the right shoulder of Fatu, left side of the screen, and of course the PCW Ultra Tag Team Championship that unified these titles. This place was fired up. I literally have goosebumps going through my arms, man. This is insane what we're watching right now. And it's just the entrance is tough. The chant by the crowd, absolutely deafening. We can barely hear ourselves speak. What tension in the house for this. And War Beast have, have taken the show on the road. They've gone coast to coast, leaving an absolute wake of destruction wherever they go here in PCW. Defy, MLW, they are truly the global violence dealers. What MLW is doing on the uh, greater east coast and the south, perhaps the Midwest is really important for professional wrestling, but what War Beast is doing in MLW is a totally different story. It's probably not so good for MLW because they are running rough shot on that company on anywhere. And Todd, as you know, in this match here tonight, as was always with their title defenses, all violence is legal. And I like it. I can't wait to see what happens in this championship match. Dan Masters set the stage and get the hell out of there. Ladies and gentlemen, this contest, one ball, no time limit. Dan Masters can't even think. I have never heard the faithful this worked up, Christian there's, Cole. There's, there's over 2,000 people here. Here, folks, you got to get down here. This is insane. Your main event of the evening. One fall, no time limit, and it's for the Ultra and Defy Worldwide Tag Team Championships. From the world famous Ultratoria here in Wilmington, California. Your official is senior official Rick Knox. There's no time limit, and all violence is legal! Introducing your challengers, the team of Ray Phoenix and Pinta El Zero. <laughs> 
them. They are the Lucha Championships and 
And since picking up the Dubai Tag Team Championships just one month ago, we, we saw that Fatu. Oh, look at the big man! Fatu and Joseph are as powerful as they're ever to be. 1,000 day reign with these titles. Oh, look at the incredible athleticism of Fatu. We talked about Brian Pillman and greatness being born and bred into him. How about the legacy of the Samoan dynasty? We talked to Fatu a lot over the years. He was such his own person, but he really looks like an awesome mashup of every great Samoan wrestler before him. Talked about it in the past at Samoan Frankenstein's monster, the strength of his uncle Umaga, the speed of his cousins, the Usos, and we see both here. Size wins out in that exchange, partner. And Phoenix claiming that the Lucha Brothers, the oh. best tag team in the universe. And on the outside, you can see Joseph assaulting. Assaulting Penta El Cerro M. And at one point, Penta teamed up with the likes of War Beast against OVE. There's no friendship here. And Joseph is looking to bake up a heaping helping of pain over there with Penta. And that baking pen is being used. And if you look now, you can see the help of War Beast. Viva Van getting in there and making her presence known. Yep, Victoria there getting involved. Victoria Van, and now as you'll come to be accustomed with these all violence is legal matches. Not only do the competitors have to have their head on a swivel, but so do we. And Fatu back dropped into the third or fourth row. We have lost all control already of this brawl. You can see Phoenix scaling the lights in one part. In the other part of the room, it's Joseph. Absolutely assaulted Phoenix's brother. Off of the scaffolding there, and a big shot by Ray Phoenix, showing what he is willing to do and sacrifice to win, again, not one, but two sets of tag team titles. High stakes matchup. There you see the veteran, Joseph. Yeah, former NWA World Champion, Joseph, who's been a tag team champion here over a thousand days, man. I, mean, I can't say it enough times. It's historic in the making. And he's still champion, and now he's Defy champion. Two champs going at it. Two-time ultra champion, Pentel Cerro going to war with Joseph. We talked earlier about TJ Perkins being around and released the Kraken. As he faced Scorpio Sky, Joseph faced MVP in the first ever PCW Ultra main event in a Syrian death match. And the rest is history. They've held that title for basically forever and a day. I smile fondly thinking of the memories of Joseph versus MVP. If you're watching this match, you could easily go back and watch that match from Luis the Kraken by going to PCWUltra.com or searching for us on your Amazon Prime subscription. Every single one of our events is posted there. We appreciate all the fans' feedback and following along with PCW Ultra. But partner, there's no better way to take in this company than to come here and show up with the masses who are standing on top of their chairs in some cases to watch this brawl go down. Who will walk out with the Ultra Tag Team Championships? And this is not bode well for Pentel Cerro Miedo here. He's in there, he's isolated with both members of War Beast as Ray Phoenix tried to go high risk coming off of the scaffolding. He's nowhere to be found. Well, now he's checking back in. Beautiful springboard back kick. And now the Lucha Brothers are starting to take over, partner. This is trouble. They're in the ring now. That, that's bad news as Penta throws, Penta throws Joseph outside. But Phoenix and Fatu are in the ring. And Title can change hands in the ring. This is a bad spot for Warbeast. He loves to destroy and dismantle their opponents on the outside. 
He might have a fighting shot inside the squared circle rather than out there in the Devil's Playground where anything goes. Nice super kick by Phoenix trying to pin the powerful Polynesian, but easier said than done. Couldn't exactly cover him the way he wanted to. Couldn't hook that monstrous leg of Fatu. That leg just alone probably weighs 110 pounds. It's, it's probably accurate. To lift that thing up. Try to get a pinfall attempt is very difficult. That's why Phoenix now electing to try a submission armbar potentially. There's going to be no rope breaks here. All violence is legal, including smashing Fatou's arm in half. And a lot of smashing going on on the outside of the ring as well as Joseph and Penta continue to go to war. But you got to take advantage when you have one of your opponents inside the ring. That's the only way this match oh, will end. Shit. Oh no, and Joseph is busted open as you can see and has been for the last number of moments. And, and Penta sticking those, those skewers and pounding skewers in the forehead of the Midnight Sun. And my God, they're stuck inside of his skull. Oh my goodness, unbelievable now for the cover. It's over, it's finally over, no. Not Jesus. Enough. You'll recall that Warbeast took on the Sandman and Masada at one point and were the recipients of this type of activity. And now yet again, those skewers. Joseph looking like some sort of demented cockatoo in there. Incredible, the Lucha Brothers came to fight. They are right at home under all violence's regal. Joseph is never happier than when he is bleeding for his championship reign. I spoke to him earlier, he said this PCW Ultra title is hard. They define me. Oh. He said these Defy Tag Team Championships, they define me. We are the best tag team in the world. The only thing Joseph likes more than bleeding to defend his titles is when his opponents are bleeding more. But right now, the Lucha Brothers with the advanced Silencio. Setting up Fatu. Phoenix's brother Penta is shredding the t-shirt of Fatu. That's a big target, partner. Joseph lost a lot of blood here. Joseph is bleeding profusely. Dripping blood into his beard. From his forehead. Joseph, no stranger to donning the crimson mask. It's happened before right here on PCW Ultra, but one thing remains the same. They've never lost those titles. That was a super kick in stereo from both sides. Phoenix for the cover. Can they get the championships? And it's not enough yet, Todd, and I'll tell you why. That blood in the eyes of Joseph has woken him up, and Fox 2 looks to avenge Joseph now. Another beautiful spin kick there by Phoenix. Look out here. Breaking the code of the title reign of Warbeast. The double stomp. I don't think anybody in this historic reign has done this to Warbeast. Here's the cover. No. Too powerful. Penta just trying to get a cover quickly before Joseph shows up. It wasn't enough, though. He wasn't able to hook legs. Look at this. Tag team maneuver from the Lucha Brothers. Isolate. Oh, my goodness. Oh, tight rope. Oh. Wow! Incredible tightrope walk! Time of possession offensively is in the favor of the challengers. And basically no one has been able to see that. Look at this! Alius! Alius! Alius by Fatu! The monster has woken up here! Springboard moonsault! They've won so many matches this way! Here we go! No! Oh not my yet. god! They have won so many matches that way. That's exactly right, Todd. And I thought that this match right there was over, but it wasn't enough. It certainly took all the lungs out of the oxygen of Penta. Think of the teams that Warbeast has defeated, the likes of Sin Bodhi and the Monster Abyss. I talked about Sandman and Masada, Reno Scum.
Joey Janela and Jacob, so many, the Dirty Blondes, I mean, it's countless. But there's just something different about the Lucha Brothers. They're able to hang. Yeah, no one's been able to hang like this since, since anybody really. Look at this, oh my God! Where did that come from? Penta to win the titles! Heads up move there by the veteran. He knew that his monster was in big trouble after the destroyer and made the save, split second save by Joseph. Joseph just moments away from losing his championship titles. He, he grabs the ankle of Penta, drags him to the outside, interrupting the count from Rick Knox. Brilliant timing, really. How is Fatu back up? Oh, low blow. Well, you're not going to call for the bell there. Not this way. Fatu covers only a count of two. Again, all violence is legal. And I think Fatu, is he thinking, thinking moonsault again? Where'd Phoenix come from? Huge kick from Phoenix to Fatu. Takes him down to size. I'll tell you where he came from. He rose from the ashes. Oh, what the oh, yeah. Speaking of, damn it. Oh my God, beautiful moonsault. And that's it. Son of a bitch. They did it again, Todd. We knew it was going to happen. They did it again. Why are you surprised, partner? Why do you look surprised? Well, I shouldn't be. All violence is legal, so I guess there's nothing wrong. But that's how No Muertes won the Ultra title. Fireball, now fire to the face of Phoenix. And then Fatu. Morbius was right, man. Joseph was right. You guys used to cheer for them. Now all you care about is Lucha Brothers and Young Bucks. Pro wrestling is alive and well, but it's here in PCW Ultra. Never get it twisted. you partner wrestling may be alive and well but nobody's alive and well when they step in the ring and out of the ring with war beast a bloody mess is one half of the tag team champions an injured left elbow an injured shoulder bleeding profusely from his head but his partner able to pick him up, lift him up. With that beautiful moonsault, they end up retaining the Defy and PCW Ultra Tag Team Championship. A city paved in gold, the Ultra Torium Wilmington, California, thanks to War Beast, has become a city of evil. Thank you for watching the Hannibal TV. Please like this video if you enjoyed it and click the subscribe button to not miss any of our latest shoot interviews, match videos, or news updates. Support us on Patreon.com for $1.99 a month to watch our full shoot interviews ad-free and help our channel grow. Follow us on Twitter at The Hannibal TV for instant updates.